Pretty much. Here it is. It's the game. I'm going normal because this game want because normal is already hard enough. Oh yeah, I'm on the. F I got as far as the asserter in my playthrough. Dude, the asserter boss fight's fucking cool. I know. Oh, so you can tell there's it's I already beat a, him yet, an asshole. Already yeah. a better improvement. When I contemplate the brevity of man's life, I am a different to worldly things. Oh, okay. They at least started with some cryptic bullshit. When I first Meanwhile, in a random ass Japanese subway. What? This was the trailer for the game, by the way. Oh, it was. Long ago, the world of order was created by God. And his servants, the angels, led it on its proper course. It was in such a world that countless mortals led happy, fruitful, and prosperous lives. Oh that yeah, I forgot grace. to mention, this game goes full ham with the, oh, humanity has However, the potential to become God's thing. Even God's world is not eternal. And I mean, they go full I do love the plot with, with this particular... Oh yeah, they do. I love the plot twist of this particular version, though. God had forged will as fate dictates. You don't know what the plot twist is, do you? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be funny when it's revealed. Here's the thing: it's vengeance. It's not the Disrupted vanilla order version. Begets chaos. Vengeance completely changes and the apparent uh, from the devs changes the story after a third of the way through the game. Order in turn. All right, sure. So that means the plot twist is probably not even going to happen. How will these keepers of knowledge strive and perish during their Hey, it's Ryuji 2.0. <laughs> no, actually, Ryuji, Ryuji 0 0.5. He just has no none of the charm. Let us watch them at our oh, yeah, in Vengeance, Demifiend is free. Ruler is seated He's free DLC really? in Vengeance. Like, all the DLC from the vanilla version was made free. But in exchange, they added some new ones. Some new day one DLC. They need what to nickel. This? What is what companies now need to just nickel and dime all the fucking time? It's getting ridiculous a little bit. <laughs> I like to call him Demi Friend. Well, he can't be your friend here. This is a path linked to the future. That's new. The choices you make will affect She's not in the OG course. game. This whole thing is new. We're gonna go Canon of Vengeance. Ooh, there's some alias in there. Stay your hand now. The soul of that girl cannot be permitted to exist. Yes, I'm taking her hand. Knowing only this, will you still take her hand? Yes, she's a woman. Foolish soul. Do not forget yeah. that with a simple gesture. Yeah, Doc, essentially they have the two canons Canon of Creation, which is the original game store, and then there's Vengeance, which is this one. We can only pray that you return to the proper path. That you find your way again. This makes me feel cheated. I should have just waited till Vengeance to buy this. Then again, how would you? How could you have known? The game was released in 2021. How would you know three years down the line? Still makes me feel cheated. Those oh God, that's a ugly iPad. So <laughs> oh who's no. Been putting it off, better get on that. I forgot how- Oh god, dude. My work has like a password change system. It's fucking irritating. I forgot how jank some of these model models were, because essentially they're putting um, Switch models in, in in high resolution, and I'm like, oh boy. 
Also, this guy has a cannon name. We didn't get the cannon name until, I think, this year or last year. Hold on. You and your cannon names. Hey, I like to be, you know, I like to be, I like to be, uh, accurate, lore accurate. Yeah, people are definitely typing that in. Okay, Amamura, is his name okay? Yes. One other thing. Oh, you're the K Amamura guy. Pretty dangerous out there. Oh, that's cool, the flowers on the side of the uniform. The dorm and As you can see, it's very obvious this is a Switch game. That's it for homeroom. Because, um, I don't know why with SMT, because I get that like, most of the, the games are very gritty. I know that for sure. So they try not to go for a super stylized look. But that's why there's like barely any cell shading at all, if any. I wonder if they're going to like ever make an SMT with like the budget of Persona. Here's the thing. It's not that they don't do that. It's because Persona, how do I say this? I would say Persona is easier to make texture, making the textures or the environment because of the fact, you know, all you gotta do is make the towns, do like just a few areas for like the exploring and buying stuff, and then the actual dungeons is where all the budget goes. It's interesting how their like bread and butter SMT hey, hey. became a back burner compared to Persona. Well, less that, and it's more like, how do I say this? Mainline SMTs just take forever to make. Like, after 3, they just started making them very rarely. Like, we didn't get SMT 4 until 10 years later. I mean, I feel like it had something to do with Sega's Western push. Look, like, I guess they figured, like, with the Western push thing, Americans like Persona, we should probably put SMT on the back burner. Yeah, and they proved that, and they proved, uh, and the thing is, SMT 4 proved that everyone want, people want SMT. And I think a few years after Apocalypse came out, we ended up getting a trailer for 5. Four or five, and um, we ended up getting the game. I think in 2021, so it took like six. Like after Apocalypse, it took like what five, six years. Yeah, five years because came out in 2021. So this was probably the short. This is the second shortest SMT game we have to wait for because SMT two came out like what two years later, three years later. They fixed the frame rate issue that plagues the Switch version. Huh. Well... Switch version runs at like 30 frames a second. It's kind of ridiculous. 30? That's... If you're lucky. Dude, when you get to the Surger dungeon, oh my god, the game shits itself. Yeah. And the thing is, though, it's like... It's very obvious. This is a game on made for Switch, put on a console... Put on a high-resolution console. Not only that, the game was made with an engine the devs are not familiar with. They're used to using their in-house stuff. They don't really use Unreal. Also, my main complaint... I'm about halfway through this on my end. My main complaint with it is that the dungeons are absolutely ridiculous to navigate, some of them. But at least, yeah, I feel like they learned their lesson with 5, where they realized that you can't just do first-person style dungeons, dungeons in a third-person style view. You need to actually make proper levels now. Dude. The Surter Dungeon is one of the most annoying things you'll ever have to deal with in your life. Oh my god. And they learned... <laughs> so I took you so long to get to the boss. Like, holy shit. And they learned their lesson with SMT4, the game you fucking hate. Dude, I felt like my... No, it's this one. The Surter Dungeon. I felt like my mind was going to explode with how much backtracking and going forward again I had to do. Um, sure. Keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that, ho. Okay, so no one's gonna walk home with me. Okay, cool. Everything all right? Everyone's like, you're a nerd. No, it's more like everyone already has their own parties, or they just don't want to like hey, ask anyone hey, else. Hey, bro, you, you want to walk home together? Uh, going home in a group uh, sounds like a right pain in the ass. I'm just gonna go it alone. Uh, Can't find anyone else. Maybe we should do the same, huh? I mean, that's. You just had to go home alone as well. Okay, cool. Do you have someone on your bus that you always sat next to? Hey, you heading back alone? Meet the one character that barely had any character in the vanilla game. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm completely useless in the previous version. For some reason, my eyes look like I have the running gun. Being safer to go home in groups, right? You should walk with us. I like how most of the human cast is just borderline useless except Tao. <laughs> Sure. 
Oh, there's choices in this one? There's always been choices. Oh! Hey, you two! Over here! Every SMT game had choices. What are you talking about? I will say the character models for the women look very realistic. Like their well, tits aren't out to the, out to fucking skyrocket. Um, yeah, the artist is not really known for that. They're more known for their like stylistic looks rather than you know fan service. Why does everyone have like really white eyes? That is weird. I didn't know you knew him, Miyazu. I mean, not really. Oh, she's the shy type. They've met in passing. I think Miyazu and I ran into him a couple times. Yato. Yeah, Something like that. So we all got Aww. history. Good to know. You're lucky your big brother looks out for you so much, huh? Um, I guess. We're the only family we've got. I don't think it's that strange to look out for my little sister. <laughs> sure, sure. So, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. we all walk home together? Yeah, sure. Why not? Ten bucks saying they'll definitely reuse this type of map in Persona 6. In terms of like how they go to places. That'd be annoying. Rather than about five. Which I prefer like this, because at least you can like like talk to the overworld and then when you get to a place you go into the actual map. It's almost like skin crawl. The ceiling's really low too. You said you wanted to talk about something? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been having these weird dreams lately. I keep hearing this distant voice, like someone far away is calling out to me. It keeps getting closer and closer, but just when it seems like they've almost found me, I wake up. And I keep having that dream every night. Kinda getting to me. I wish someone could tell me what it all means. Probably a reflection of something subconscious. Maybe you're just stressed over the future. It would make sense since. Oh! Something going on? Looks like. Here, I'll go check it out. Well, there's been a murder. World end yet? No, there's been a murder. You know, this one, oh, I can't really say it or it'll give it away. Seems like something happened at the station. Just take a look. Shinigawa was a pain in the ass to get around without the trains. Shinigawa was a pain in the ass. Another murder? This one's just as brutal as the others. I really need to move to Tokyo. The entire place is blocked off by a blue sheet. Doesn't look like you can pass through. I think this is one of the few that doesn't take place in Tokyo. Oh, look at that. She has an actual character model. She must be important. <laughs> Wait, is Shinigawa a different city or is it a Tokyo province? It's a, I think it's a province. Also, her uniform yep. is different. You try to talk Shinigawa, to her. Shinigawa, uh, okay. The the the, you try to talk to her, but the girl paid you no heed and left. Why does that always happen to me? But Bitch, I don't talk to the fucking beta male. Inside. You'll have to take an alternate route. Rich Ace, hello. I'm hired for extra voices. Hi. My brother came back, but he needed to take a call or something. Walked off somewhere. Then Well, she's character's rating. She's actually pretty cute. She went looking for somewhere quiet to try calling back. Shy type, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, would you mind checking up on my brother? Oh, thank God, they're not doing the typical if you want to, like, take, take, take care of me, so... Yeah, she is just genuinely shy. I know he's would you mind checking up my brother? I, I think he's jacking off behind one of the subway stations again. Oh, God. <laughs> There's blood everywhere past that sheet. It was horrible. Yeah, I can bet. I wish I could see it. But My wife's gonna kill me when I get home. I wish I could see it, but as you can see, there's no blood texture anywhere yet, so I don't, I don't believe you. 
This is gonna make me so late, my wife's gonna do worse to me. Most people are just focused on all the blood. I thought I saw some shadowy figure running away, but I'm not sure. Am I the only one who noticed? Oh. But one of those high school boys went running in the same direction. Some kid with glasses. Uh, Why am I actually properly voice acting this guy? Because the game takes itself seriously. I guess. Way more seriously than usual. Like when I do this... Or I do like that smoker voice, I'm not doing it seriously, but now I am. I thought it was lucky since uh, it wasn't that crowded. Man, just can't catch a break, can I? Wonder, is there really something lurking around that creepy tunnel? Just passed by this yeah, girl like this with short hair, but I didn't recognize eel. her uniform. Which, can we get an eel demon in this game? That'd be awesome. It would be cool. I doubt it's going to happen, though. I wish they would do, like, some demons based on, like, actual ferocious animals instead of just, like, mythical beings. But then we go with Pokemon territory. Yeah. All right. So word on the street is a bunch of monsters have been seen hanging around this tunnel. Oh no, he's Dang one it. of those. He must be fully voiced. I'd love to give him the fucking smoker voice. Uh, yo. Sheesh. Dude, I'd fucking do that. You know how many times I do that on my mom's back, back door to her car? Looks it's like one of those weird automatic ones. Oh god. Oh god, Dazai looks like such a fucking douchebag. Surprisingly, he's not, though. Later on, he does. Like, I don't know if I've gotten that far with him. 1.5 meters, that's about 3 feet. All right. Miles. Enough screwing around. Let's go even deeper. That said yeah? meters. Oh, I'm retarded. I'm, oh, I'm, it's I'm a gonna, height thing, dude. I'm an idiot. You have to be fucked up. I'm 6'2". I'll be knocking my head on these things all the time. Hey, Siri. Hey, 1.5 meters to feet. Oh, I was one foot off. All oh, right, it's like 2.2 is the equation. Oh shit! Ah, oh, I think Doc left. Did he? Yeah, there's no. I don't Did think we bore him that bad? I think there's like something signed the. Uh... Ah, uh, well. Long ago, before these creatures known as humans gained knowledge, the god of law seated himself upon the throne of creation. Yeet! Wrong button, sorry. This is it, the apocalypse. Hello, biblically accurate angel. Hey, yeah. Uh... How can this be? A human walks among us. Don't make, don't probe me, please. This is no place for one such. Probe his anus immediately. I shall grant you sanctuary. Fortunate, an angel of Bethel found you. Were it an agent of chaos in my stead, you may not be alive. Remain calm and keep still. You will be safe momentarily. That's what every biblically accurate angel says. Be not afraid, right? I'd be shitting my pants. No shit, everyone would. Especially the one that creeps me out is the eyeball one, the seraphim. Ugh. Like, they are not correct in Hasbun Hotel on how seraphims look. And this is the only time we'll ever see this man's personality. Oh, so it's not that Doc left, the stream keeps cutting out on my end. Yeah, this is the only time we're ever going to see this man's personality. Oh, the main characters? Yeah. Because after this, he becomes a true blank slate. I like how the fifth games of these of these of this series, Persona and SMT, 
was what basically made the brand so widespread. Like, SMT5 was so popular that it was the best selling in the series. And Persona 5 is now the best selling in the series. Something tells me Alice does really good with the number 5. I love the number 5. This isn't a dream. I mean, before. it's better than Valve. They can't count the 3. Funnily enough, SMT5 is the weakest in the series. It's story-wise. Gameplay-wise, it's yeah. amazing. Let's hope Vengeance fix that. We're going to fuck you up, bitch! Damn, these, the new, did they fix the lighting? Because it looks fucking good. Well, it's running on a much better console, so they probably just upped the settings. Target confirmed. That's my guess. Hey, sup? I'm a, I'm a dude. I'm a fucking, like, Sentai warrior for some reason. Oh, 100%. God, Algami's design is sick. Young man, if you wish to live, take my hand. He's ended three of them with his entrance. That's how you know he's strong. Wait, you could say no? No, it said nod. Oh. You don't have a choice in this situation. You really don't. Also, the transformation is sick. For once, it's not gruesomely painful. Yeah, it's not, he's not the demi fiend. He's called the proto fiend, or Hanahobino. Imagine the poor sod who went to, to church school and used this game as a reference for their teachings. That'd be funny. God, the music is amazing. So the Nahobino make themselves known again after all this time. He's like, oh my god, I've become a Power Ranger. I'm a fucking Power Ranger. Perhaps the future is secured. Look at my long flowing mane. Dark, you may chase whatever you please. I shall await you in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Until then, may your newfound power guide your survival. If you played 3 Remastered, you'd know who this voice is, and you'd know who that voice belongs to. Young man, can you hear me? You and I are now one. We have ascended to become a being known as Anahobina. Nah, I couldn't tell with my long, awesome flowing hair that can... In my Sentai suit. Yeah. I remember when this game came out, people thought this man was like a twink or some shit. <laughs> I thought it was a woman. Yeah, people thought, like, people didn't know if he was a guy or a gal. No one knew. Our form is based on my own and Alice never confirmed it for the longest the time. And it was hilarious. I shall open and Atlas didn't what now? They didn't confirm it for the longest time. Best and I'm like... They're honestly probably debating. No, like... No, because here's the thing, his design obviously looks like a guy, but the, here's the thing, they were fucking with fans for so long by not telling us... I mean, us to be the fair, way. they could have... They could have easily made him non-binary. Oh, so pull a Frisk? Pull a modern Pokemon. Or a Frisk. Because, you know... Have you played Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, I don't want to touch those two games. I mean, it's like an... Undertale. I don't know if I've like ever an... told you this, but like the character a... model for the male and the female trainer are literally the same. The only difference is the, uh, are essentially the same because I don't know how to explain this without sounding weird on chat, but basically, the way they were able to do it is, you know how the female protagonist in, uh, Pokemon Yu looks a bit older than the male protagonist? Yeah. They didn't do that this time, so, uh, the female protagonist has no chest, so therefore they're able to use the same character model. 
The thing is, I thought they pulled an it under. I thought there. they. Here's the thing, though. I don't believe that. I think they pulled an Undertale, where it's like, you can't tell if they're a guy or a gal, so you just got to sort of assume. Thing is, though. It just says in the new ones, what do you look like, and you essentially just pick. But the thing is, though, already playing the game, they they already he's already he's a guy because they called him a he, so it's very obvious it's that not that K is a guy. I know. I'm talking about Scarlet and Violet, not this. All hostile targets eliminated. What was that just now? That was a horde of demons hunting you for your soul, young man. Damn. Additionally, this place is what is now called the Netherworld. Demons? Correct. Descendants of the By the way, pay attention to what he just said. What? Is now called the Netherworld? That's gonna come in here. That's gonna come into play later. Uh furthermore. This is oh, yeah, I think I know the twist you're talking about. Let me guess. It involves a school again. No. It's actually pretty funny. I wasn't expecting it. Like, it kinda, I'm, I'm used to this world just ending in these games, so I wasn't expecting it. Together, Do you want me to tell you? I don't give a shit. You can tell me. You seem worn out from that last battle. Perhaps you should gather some Magatsuhi. I'm aware. This world is filled with Magatsuhi. Brimming with spiritual power, it is the source of a demon's strength. Is that so... Slurps that shit like... Nocturne says hi. <laughs> the lights you see around us are the crystallized forms of Magatsuhi. Oh god, I'm gonna be so scared fighting the Demi Fiend, because he's gonna be so fucking OP and rage-inducing. What? Young man... Can you not see them? Perhaps you aren't accustomed to your new body just yet. Focus and try looking again. Hang on, let me flick a switch in your brain real quick. Oh, and all of a sudden you can see them now. I flicked the switch labeled Demon Puberty. Yes, those are Magatsuhi crystals. This is the one thing I loved in SMT5, where it's like, they know that the battles can actually drain you in this type of, sort of world, where it's like open. So here's health and mana power-ups. Yeah, that way you can at least survive until the next save point. <laughs> also, one thing also, you have, there's like, a left, there's like a currency you need to get to buy like certain upgrades. Yeah, I know what you mean. Because you can't talk to certain demons unless you have like a demon language proficiency kit. Or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. That was a little irritating, and I think it's there to keep you from, like, recruiting really powerful-ass demons in the beginning. I still like the fact that we have, now have SMT, an SMT game on, on mainline consoles that's just not 3. Oh, huh. There is still a bit of frame drops. No, that's just the save menu. And also the capture card, remember? It's not 60. Oh, uh, yeah. Even if it's not 60, though, I can still notice a few frame drops. <laughs> They're not as egregious as in the Switch version, but there's still a few. Which, considering this support, I'm not surprised. Then again, the Switch version was never really optimized all that well, so... They're not, like, game-breaking like the ones on Switch. They're just, like, maybe two, three frames. Yeah. You don't really see frame drops when you Observe go from, like, console man. to PC. You don't notice this them on console. No One thing I didn't notice, though, is I think they reduced the running speed to in order to help with performance, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because I it's remember... a good thing. You know how much shit I'd run past in the fucking Switch version? Isn't that Tokyo Tower? I've heard that this place was once known as Tokyo. But that time has passed. Yes. Now it is the Netherworld. A land dominated by demons. Did humanity die out? Hmm. I'm afraid I lack the data needed to answer your inquiry right now, young man. All I data not found. Is that there was a battle here in days past between gods and demons. Two great forces clashed right here in front of Tokyo Tower. I know this because I was there as well. But for some weird reason, I have an amnesia for what happened next. Despite this, they really need to set SMT in a different place other than Tokyo. Well, I mean, what else can they do? They can't just go somewhere. They could easily do. Here's the thing, though: is that SMT is so ingrained in Tokyo now that anywhere else just feels off. 
not only that, it's probably why SFT takes forever to make. They're trying to figure out different ways to manipulate Tokyo into the ultimate apocalypse. I'm also kind of glad they got rid of the way you got money in for because here's the thing: I was always broken for. Don't remind me why again why I don't like four. Hmm. That's the one thing I don't like about it. Like unless you're constantly using the demon talk skill for your money, it's almost impossible to get cash. Well, you have to do that in Persona 5, too. That's why you friend the politician, so you get the uh, better shakedown option. Yeah, but the, by the time you get to, like, the end of the dungeon, you have so much treasure you can sell. Yeah, but the main way I... But endgame, essentially, like, when you're preparing for the endgame, you essentially want that fucking... Like, you want that fucking politician skill. Meh. Not only can it heal those I, I, I did fine without it, it. most of the time because like every time every now and then I'll just go straight for mementos and just grind there one thing I wish they'd do with persona 6 though is the I know like getting skills through talking is important but I wish they'd make it so you get like something called how I would do it is you get social points which you could spend on skills that way you don't have to worry about who you that way you can friend who you want and have to worry about it you know what I mean yeah, but here's the thing, though. There's a reason they don't, they didn't do that, even up till 5. There's a reason for that. And that's to give every single character importance. If they just do it like that, then it would just not work right. <laughs> well, you're a peculiar one, aren't you? Because it's balanced in a certain way, so you can't really do that much. Yeah. Really now? You want to know where you are? I love this little gremlin. <laughs> Why, this is oh, this guy. Wait a minute. Are those cups holding up his chair? It's easy living. What with the rich yeah, they are. And me in here. I barely realized that. I have like 80 hours in vanilla 5. Hold on. <laughs> He's like a fucking goblin. He Wait, you play vanilla 5? Yeah, I played vanilla 5. Why do you think I was, I'm such a fan of it? Oh. Guts to Gustav. Keep her the cat of ears hollow and boss the meme on. Me Is this guy based on a goblin that would have a goblin horde? Yours. Maybe. For a small fee, of course. <laughs> and yeah, in the, in the entire series, it always costs us money to heal. As we make our way to Tokyo Tower, I recommend we look for the meme on, as we were asked. Yeah, sure. Sometimes I would get screwed and couldn't afford to heal my whole party, and that sucked. Young man, could that be one of the Mimon we were told about? Wait, that guy's literally outside his fucking thing and he can't get him. I don't know if it's just me or you run slower. Because, um... you I feel slower, and I don't know why. I think it's because in order of performance, they you know, end up blazing through everything Do and making the performance moment? fall. Yeah, you can clearly tell. All these are just upscale textures. You can clearly tell. Oh, yeah. So right. Huh? Gustav wants us back. Come back. Bye -bye. I got this. I'm not finding any wow. relics yet. Fine, fine. I'll head back. What the fuck's that dude's name? Oh, yeah. Glory's how you get it. Fucking. Yeah. Not like things. We should report back to Cadaver's Hall. Also, look at this new trick. Is that only available in this version? Yep, it's new. That would have been so fucking helpful in that stupid dungeon with the fire god. Yeah, because you can see, like, you get an overhead view of everything. <laughs> that would have been very helpful in Surter's dungeon. Not only that, they finally allow you to add custom waypoints. You know how lost I got in that dungeon? It was absolutely ridiculous. Yes, yes! I go back by the way. Sparkly, shiny boxes. Destroy and get something nice! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> by the way, did you know that... <laughs> did you know Cadaver actually still has his dick? That's gonna spread his legs next time! I don't think... It's all wrinkly. It's just a... Young man. 
<laughs> it's just like half eaten by cockroaches. I have a proposal. Fucking hell. It's dangerous. Chat, I'm here to make sex jokes and entertain you all. You all know this. I recommend we recruit some demons to fight on our side. By talking to demons, you can try and persuade them to join your cause. I forgot I like. I have a life. This is actually a way better tutorial than a lot of games give you. The demon to join you. It's hand holy, but it kind of needs to be because this series can be brutal if not. Yeah, this is one of the few series I don't mind having hand holy tutorials. <laughs> Looking at you, SMT4. Here's the thing: SMT4 is special because it's meant oh, to. Oh, street miles gone. He started talking to the demon. <laughs> wow, he talked to me! Could this demon want me to join him? Okay. Okay, then. Let's talk. I'm gonna ask you a question, so make sure you answer in a way that makes me happy, okay? So, you think I'm cute? No, you're an ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> well then, I'm gonna let, let me ask one more question. I'm gonna join you. I wonder if this one's scripted. <laughs> yeah, it is. Gotcha. When am I giving that a thought, you know? Demons will join you for free. You gotta give them all kinds of stuff, like items or maka. I can tell you what I want, so make sure you give that to me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, the good old classic SMT trope of, Oh, I may or may not join you if you give me your items, or I may just rob you blind and just run. I'm gonna rob- I'm gonna take all your money. Have fun with it. Those are the worst ones. Yeah. Or ones that ask for a fucking item that you don't have. Not only that, it's much more brutal, because first you gotta convince them, and you gotta make sure you have the item. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm just pretty bored and want to fight. I'm very pixie. I hope we get along. Oh, by the way, uh, as a new feature, they allow you to talk to your demons and, like, the save points. Oh, that's cool. Like, they'll I let like you, that. They'll let you talk to them and be like, oh, by the way, I found well, this while I was exploring. If there is a demon you want on your side, then you might try to... I know you get, like, a... I know you get like a demon that follows you around and, and like finds shit eventually. Yeah, they fixed a lot of stuff and it's so much better. I might just buy this version. Can you transfer your save data from your man, the, the other version of this one? No. Allow me Damn to it! It's a Switch exclusive, remember? You can't really do much. Well, I was gonna buy the Switch version. No, I might as well get the PlayStation version. Did it come out on PC or no? Yeah, it came out on PC. It came out on everything. Switch, PC, Xbox. Wait, PC. is it on Game Pass? If it's on Game Pass. I think uh I don't know. When confronting I shall check. The best strategy is to strike them with your blade. In many cases, this will give you the initiative in the battle. On the other hand, <sighs> Oh, is Medical Re Fantasio gonna be on Game Pass on release? Yeah. That would be a no. Observe the enemy's movements and act accordingly to earn an advantage in battle. It's metaphor re Fantasio SMT. I'm going to be on. That doesn't answer my question. So nobody really knows. That sucks. I'm really hoping for an SMT4 port, because now that we're getting rumors of Persona 1 and 2 remakes, I'm hoping we're getting SMT4 and Apocalypse ports. Because I know. So remember... if I have to buy it outright, I'll probably buy it on PlayStation. Yeah. I want to play in 4K. I remember Etrian Odyssey, one of the Etrian Odyssey games were re-released, and it was the DS version, not the Redux version on 3DS. So they can figure out a way to get the DS versions of their games working. It's just the fact they actually gotta put effort. I still think the most impressive game in this generation is fucking Hogwarts Legacy on PS5. Since it was built for that system and it looks impressive yeah, in 4K. You know, technically a female cat is a However, pussy with a pussy. Appear to be dangerous. Perhaps you can try speaking with them, if you are willing. Uh, yeah. uh that's like the first subquest. Oh yeah, this one gives you subquests. Four did that too. Three, I don't think it did that. Three was more about exploration, and dungeon yeah. crawling generally. Yeah. Oh, you're late. 
Wait, who this are you? This one is the first one that really feels like open world as compared to just a dungeon crawler. I thought it was the boys. A while back, someone just went out searching for food, but no one's returned yet. Hey, you can look at my buddies. I'm starving over here. Ooh, thanks. You spot them? Don't get their asses back here, Prano. And make sure they bring food. If they don't bring food, I'll kill you myself. Really? That's why I've been playing so many old games recently. Dude, Oblivion feels so ancient now when you go to play it. It's kind of amazing. Oh, Amato Zako. Hello. You don't want to eat me? Not a lot of flavor, you know? Trust me! I want to eat you. Pixies taste good in soup. That's not a pixie. Hey, you, you with the long well, whatever hair, it is. You'll save me, right? Oh, please. I mean, I'll save you, then I'll break your bones and put you in soup. Just think you can snatch away our prey. Why do these things have dicks in every single game? Well, okay, shit. I don't think they had them in Persona Five. Kratos show up in V Five. I don't think they have the dicks, though. They do have it. Look closely. No, in this one they do. I don't think they have the dicks in P5, though. They do, they just really don't. Ever do the hangover quest in Oblivion? I mean, Skyrim. No, I never... I don't... I... I Whoa. here's the thing. I never really play a Skyrim all that often. That's a relief. You go to Winterhold. Seriously? This guy's like, do you want this special you drink I made? And you wake up and the whole quest is a reference to hangover. It's amazing. Huh? You know... Now that I think about it, I like totally had the judgment to ask for your help. So doesn't that make me awesome too? Okay, never no. mind then. Like you deserve thanks anyway. This is one voice actress I can't say. Right She's also in fucking you for help. that and one free to play gotcha thing. Deny it either. I like how she's trying so hard to act humble, where it's like, I asked for your help, so. Oh, I'm only alive because of you, so be thankful. I'm pretty sure this is the same voice actress that plays Paimon, just with a fil just with a filter. The demon in the kimono has rather liberally interpreted the situation. What will you do? <laughs> Tell her she's annoying, or leave. Let's be nice. Ask huh? if she's hurt. What, you're worried about me? <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Yep, I'm just fine. Listen, as much as I want to rip her wings off and cook her in a suit, let's be nice. I just realized I've never seen you before, huh? <laughs> wow, how weird. So, so who are you? Hmm? Where are you headed? Young man, there are demons in this world that feign kindness to prey on you. I feel I like I've heard Algami's voice actor wrong. before. <laughs> hey, you're leaving? Like, seriously? Uh, well, well, fine. See if I care. Because I think I may have heard of him in the Fate Stay Night of Birth. No, she's not, she's not one of the asshole demons. She just, like, comes along on the journey. Also, no, what is Namba's whole thing in Yaxa 7? He's kind of just with you to be with you, right? Yeah. You'll find out later. I guess later. it's a respect thing for what Ichiban did, more or less. You'll find out later. <gasps> oh my god. I keep forgetting... I, uh, by the way, Jet, I may have cheated a bit. Because I know yesterday I had to cancel stream because um, cause JP here was like busy doing something else. And I had to cancel the stream. The thing is, though, SMT5 came out around the time we was ended the we were gonna stream, and I'm like, I'm gonna cheat a bit and play through with some of it myself. I could not stop playing it because of the fact the game was, oh my god, it's such an improvement. It's so much better. <laughs> also, um, Jet, this might be a bit of a short stream because. Well, JP gotta do something later on wow. tomorrow, so we're probably gonna stream till Isn't midnight. This a sight to behold? Oh. Let me see your face. Yeah, I'm the one that spent sixty hours on the original. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, look, it's mommy. What about mommy? You'll see. Welcome to the Church of Shadows. No the demons gather. No, Aww. that's the that's the old man. Waiting, and only now does one. What do you no? What do you mean, Simp? Have you seen Sophia? Simp. One who has awakened to their true form 
Through the reunion of knowledge and life, a Nahobino. Have you seen her, dude? I am Sophia. I have come from a plane far beyond. Oh, when did Jet come here? He showed up while you were gone. The world and the hey, Jet. I just took a massive dump and now my ass hurts. Ruler of the world of shadows, Sophia. However, I, I wonder if Lorewai, she's Although the me mentor of the guy, the old the man. Gods, it is unstable. Ouch. Incomplete. Yeah, especially since I have hemorrhoids now. It sucks. Some of that which still slumbers within. Let us see what also, you TMI, I apologize. I still miss the old man. Did his voice actor die or something? No, it's because with SMG5 they changed it to this lady. Yeah, we need the Church of Shadows, where demons gather. Cathedral of Shadows, you idiot. I'll stay when I want, biatch! By the way, in lore, canonically, the Nahobino and the Demifiend are arch enemies in lore. Really? Yeah, because the Nahobino is meant to become God, while the Demifiend is meant to keep God from it, meant to kill God. So one's trying to hunt down the other. No, it's just like, um, essentially one was it was trying to kill God, which they were successful in, and the other's trying to take the seat and become the new God. L remember this, the whole thing with SMT is about law, uh, law, um, law and chaos, where it's like law, where it's like, you have guaranteed safety, but you lose all individuality. Where chaos is, you can be whoever you want, you just want how, you just, but the thing is though, you're never protected from every, from anything. Essentially a doggy dog world. A doggy dog world. Which is essentially the chaos route where it's like, fuck order, I want to do whatever the fuck I want and no one can stop me. Yeah, go fuck yourself, Bethel. Dude. What? Sorry, I was oh, thinking no. about a thing. You can still get the demons, but here's the thing. In order to flip the script and not make and to actually give you benefits for some demons, they made it so that only select demons, like if for, um, how do I say this? That you can find these things in the world. I forgot what they're called, but essentially unlock special skills depending on the alignment of the demon. Like law, chaos demons get a special skill. First up, SMT five is already hard on its own. I don't need hard mode. No, I played through Vanilla 5. That shit was fucking hard. Even on normal. Hell no, I'm not touching hard mode. And there's a Leyland -Lay mob here. That's cool. Can I recover her? Yep, I can. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna need a... Oh, shit. Angels are dead. It appears though they were torn apart by sharp claws. This is... Could this be the work of a nearby demon? Must be a fearsome enemy. Oh, I can tell. This this game makes me honestly happy that we might be getting more SMT on mainline consoles now, rather than just a Switch. Yeah, I know it's toasting and he's smelling burnt plants. His wind work on you. Not exactly, but better than regular damage. I'm immune to electricity, dumbass. Let's go. You want to see Gyat, look at that pixie. Well, I mean, you have to flirt with demons at some point, right? <laughs> Dumbass. Woo! Oh, um, don't say not Hobino's the Rizzler. Shut up. Now oh, Hobino's so the what? This man really Sorry, misses. I was looking for a copy of uh, SMT Strange Journey, but Nintendo wiped the internet of DS ROMs right now. I know one place you can use that to tell you off the stream. Alright. Oh god, flirting with Mara. Oh god, that's gonna be so cursed. Oh no. Oh, it will be. Oh, oh god, I got that. I got. A, I got that image in my head now. Oh, gross. <laughs> 
Level up, let's go. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <sighs> and, yeah, there's Let also also killing these things is what helps you unlock skills, which oh boy. Killing what things? Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. Long time no see! You remember me, don't you? Huh, of course you do. Huh? Oh, there you are. Hello. Shiki got me watching. hanging from the fucking oh, you light must bulb. Be pretty tough if you can take out an abscess like That's not that. a Shiki got me. All oh, right, the abscesses are like demons that failed to form. No, they're like um, how do I say this? They're like oh, they're just, like those demons. They're like a they're, they're like a wellspring of Magatsuhi. Oh. Yeah, I'm going for a strength based build. That's usually how I do this in SMT. Still, you're super outnumbered. Bet you got a little beat up, huh? Kinda. What you mean by that, girl? Oh, I know. Here, I'll give you this. Mm, just so we're clear. Yeah, see, I would I hit that, but no. No. Anything. She's too annoying. To up, so, here, take it or whatever. Didn't really bitch mode activate. Now that you say Baka, that she, like you anything, Baka. Now that you say that she is kind of a tsundere because she was because she's like, hey, I asked for your help, therefore I'm the good person here because I knew I was like you know humble, and I'm like, the fuck you just say to me? <laughs> oh, okay. So the fast travel points in the base one were on the fountains, right? Yeah. Here they added in some Magatsu rails to make it easier to travel. Damn, they made a lot of like quality life improvements. Oh, they made a lot, like. There's so much they improved from Vanilla 5, and I played through a bit of Vanilla 5 because um, I made a video on it, so if you want to watch to go ahead, but Jesus Christ. Ooh, boy. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of stuff here completely makes this the version of Definitive Edition. I mean, there's one thing I gotta say about that. That is? That. Just Oh these things okay okay um fuck please be Oh not. the fucking Magatama things Mitamas oh, okay I gotta okay Please be correct please be correct please Yes let's go <laughs> Wait are you min maxing agility and strength? Yeah because agility you is very mad lad Agility is very important in SMT, especially after three, because you know press turn. So agility. I, mean, I always do strength vitality builds, which makes me slow, but I can pretty much take twenty thousand hits in a row. Thing is, you're gonna need that agility because of the fact you know agility is a godsend in this series. Because of the fact that because of press turn, it makes agility much more important than defense. Or does vitality. It, yeah. it does. Because um if you manage to get high enough agility, you can just straight up avoid most things, and if you avoid most things, it gives you more press turns and gives the enemies less press turns. So yeah, it's it's a godsend, essentially you need it. Bye, Gremlin. Whoa there, pal, I wouldn't go past here if I were you. Ain't you see those dead angels? Real beastly demon that way that went down this way. Get caught by there was this guy calls. named Alistair that killed them. You get caught by those shot calls, you end up just like them. Young man. That information. I'm nothing if not for my husband hotel jokes. Even if it proves false, we should be prepared. I suggest we proceed with caution. Yeah, I. I that would I, be a cool. That would be a cool mod adding like husband hotel demons into this. Hey, Mushavu. Hey, hey. Oh, Can you imagine an Alistair boss fight in one of these? Oh god, it costs a lot of money though to cover you get a crossover. <laughs> SMT6 featuring Alistair from Hasbun Hotel. Dude, that'd be such a cool boss fight though with the tendrils and shit. Yeah. Even though the shit has one queer weakness is have you watched the last episode? No, I never watched Hasbun. Also, you wanna do this one? <laughs> yeah. Now that I think about it, wait, this is a female, right? Yep, look at her face. She looks like a bitch. <laughs> 
Now that I think about it, bitch, this place wasn't another world about 20 years ago. It was... What was it? Mm. Hey, someone needs to fucking press A! I am now a gremlin. How do you do? Also, Shinigami's the one in charge, so please direct all stream not working complaints to him. I am not doing a challenge run! No! Whoa, level vengeance route! <laughs> I am not doing a challenge round, Jet. You can go shove it. I'm not doing that. I'm not that that I'm not those such a crackheads, dude. Hey, if I can do a no armor oblivion challenge run and get 75% of the way through, I feel like you're more than capable. I'm not you. That was just my tism on full display. Yeah, like off Dark Souls, perfectly fine with. Anything else, no. Dude, if I, like, set a goal for myself, my tism will ensure that I try and do that goal and they get super depressed about it if I don't manage. First off, Jet, Vine is dead. I'm not doing it for the Vine. Do it for the Vine! No. It's fine. No. You there was shove one it. video I had in my save thing that was just a uh, dog with dreadlocks bobbing his head to Bob Marley. It's a Bob Marley song that, like, be happy, and it was great. I miss it. Oh boy. I do love how the main demons have like voices though in this. The yeah, added voice lines. I know, it's great. Exchange is. Oh. Glad you're okay. I like who was able to recognize us Let's with our new outfit. Right? <laughs> I know you look different, but Oh hey, I didn't know you were in the gimp suits. It's still you in there. Take a look. That's a lot of rust. I'd know that green stripe anywhere. How could you tell? Train cars from the Yamanote line. I know that green stripe anywhere. It's from Korea. Oh God. What exactly happened here? Which means we're in France. Tokyo, while we were in that tunnel. This guy just doesn't know his geography. Huh. Maybe it's 20 years in the in our future. What? But that would mean that the world we've known is. Never mind. Isn't the most real realistic reactions in the series to the world just being First, fucked? We need to regroup with the other Well, students. I mean, compared to Dog Persona, it's more there, grounded too, in like the actual environment. It's not just, oh, I'm freaking West out. We're in this weird shadow world. It's literally it. just, okay, let's and keep calm kind of and try to figure out what we're doing. Or where we are, where we're at. I mean, those are the best survival stories. Where I listen like, to a. Oh, sorry. Go on. Where it's like, yeah, the best ones are like, like because they know panicking is not going to do shit. So it's like, might as well try to figure out what the hell's going on. I listened to a really good survival creepy pasta this morning about a uh, about a town that was in the mountains of West Virginia that was getting flooded by a supernatural storm, to where demon if demons get near like where you live, they'll try and kill you and make the storm worse to hunt you down and drown you out. And it was really good. Well, I suppose that decides it. We should split up and search for this angel. Don't worry. Yeah, I got back in the creepy classes again. I haven't really listened to them since I was fourteen, and the entire landscape of that shit changed. To protect the world, they gave me a demon summoning program. I was like, oh, by the way, I can summon demons now. They gave me a demon summoning program. Only problem is it runs on Linux. I'm not just trying to protect myself. I'm fighting to save everyone. Look out! I, mean, I guess it'd be worse if it ran on Apple. Hello. Oh, you actually get attacked at this point now? Yeah, you gotta fight this thing. What the hell? I've Where seen, uh, Jet, I've actually seen, like, That's Nuzlocke rule sets for Persona 5, and they actually look pretty hard. Well, yeah. But I kinda wanted to try it. Well, considering the fact SMT and Persona rely heavily on, like, weakness abusing, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, Nuzlocke would work because Pokemon spun off of SMT, so... Oh, so this part's completely new, because, um, I don't think he fought with you. I think it was just using your demons. Here, they're actually... That fucking sick, though. Here's the thing, though. Uh, Yuzuru and Yoko... I don't think Yuzuru fought with you in the original version. You just fought with your demons. 
I have a look up to see if anyone made Nuzlocke rules for SMT5. Also, dude, that fucking design's awesome. I know. It looks sick. Oh, you actually fight with your party. You can fight with party members in this one? Yeah, but they're more like guests. They'll be like in your party temporarily rather than full on here. SMT. I need to read the original Nuzlocke comics. Let's go. Maybe they're all pretty good. People are trying to brainstorm one. Oh, fuck! The stone. Can you release Demon Demon's Zone? I'm pretty sure you can. Maybe. Oh, fuck. She's blind. This'll do. You know, I feel like a Nuzlocke in this would be a bitch considering, unlike Pokemon, these things could kill three of your demons at the same damn time. Yeah. Not only that, they can basically just stun lock you. Or like be so easy to lose. Oh dude, here's the thing. That's why I say Nuzlocks for this will be fucking psychotic. Because of the fact the they way the game be. is designed. Like, you have to abuse weaknesses. That's just the that's just the way the game works. You have to abuse weaknesses of enemies. If you don't, it's gonna fuck you over, because if you don't have those skills, you're gonna get screwed. You're gonna get murderized. Makes so much sense that he has Neko Mata or whatever the fuck that thing is, Shogun Neko. Wow. Isn't that based on like an actual like demon cat? It's like an owl thing. Well, Shogun Neko, so it would be a cat. Neko is a cat in Japanese. Yeah, I know. Why do you can switch to a Japanese accent so easily whenever I'm speaking Japanese? I'm gonna lower your attack. Can't have you gain back your attack up. Arafunda! Ooh, that rolled a crit! I can't afford to fail. Fuck! You know we stream more of this tomorrow, I'm actually kinda getting into this version. Why? So we gonna, we gonna change the schedule then? For tomorrow? Oh yeah, I think I still do gonna if you want, but I'm kinda getting into this. Yeah. Then again, Persona's gonna be more of a Thursday thing, so... Let's go! Boom! What it do? Dude, that design was awesome, though. Oh, dude, here, yeah, uh, Mirage essentially just, um... You, you can't hit shit when you get Mirage. Like, you cannot hit a damn thing, and then you don't want to risk it, essentially. So you just gotta either guard and hope you survive till, like, the Mirage ends, or some, or you just have an item get rid of it, because it is just a piece of shit Oh, it's have. like double team, but it gets cut, but it's a status effect. Yeah, it's annoying. It, there's a reason a lot. the name of the game for SMT is buffs and debuffs and status effects. That's the name of the game with SMT. It's more than just. And the higher... reason I. It's more. Well, the than reason just I lost uh... Persona Five is because I got rid of my buffs and debuffs. Yeah, and you need those. Like you need like the name that of the game. That is such a cool design. It is. You're gonna. <laughs> got away. Oh, so you're gonna Dude. you're gonna love her backstory. Watch this. <laughs> Look what she says. You said, you were here, Amine, right? We appreciate the help. I read that as Hermione for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Don't mention it. Happy to help out. So what are your names, then? Great. Well, I'm Yuzuru Atsuta, and this is... We're students. Over I like how they High couldn't School. say his <laughs> name, so they just muted him. <laughs> <laughs> and if I were the voice actor, I'd be like, and this is shithead? They could have just said, this is my friend, but no, they just muted it. <laughs> I wonder if they actually say like, like a bad word there and then they just mute it just so they have something to mute. So it makes more sense to just being quiet for a second and then continuing the sentence, you know? Yeah. My story's about the same. I was out on the road near Takanawa Tunnel. Next thing I knew, and this is F. Pay respects. I heard someone talking and then I noticed the demon preparing to pounce. We lucked out then. This place is definitely dangerous. And that's about all we know right now. So I think 
You should probably go with him. It'll be much safer that way. We should split up and see what we can find out. Oh, did you know the main character of Gantz's name is K? Yeah. K Corona. You know what's terrible? So all three characters' names start with K, and it's one of Bridge series I watched realized it, and now I can together we are. The thing I can't say on Twitch. Unfortunately, I can't finish that joke on YouTube, but oh. you know what I'm implying. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. This was early YouTube, so they got away with it. It was funny as fuck. Hey. They're like, we really need to rebrand, don't we? Okay, let's get something out of the way first. I can see that you have some sort of unusual power. Nah, how can you tell? The flowing blue hair, my Super Sentai armor, the fucking eyes. What is it? What can you the not tell? I'm a motherfucking Power Ranger. That fact that my hand can turn into a sword. How did you? How did you know? <laughs> it's like I have a new form and everything. There's no way I'm recognizable. The I first have a lightsaber on my hand, you bitch. The, I like how it's like. Oh, I have, I'm in a forum. No one recognize me. All of a sudden, the first person I know that I meet is like, "Oh, hey, Kay, how you doing?" He's like, "Fuck! This is a shitty disguise." <laughs> it's like and this is redacted. Like, it's like how the fuck are you able to tell it's your friend when he looks like this? Like how? <laughs> yeah, at the next save point, we should probably call it. Cause I have to go to bed. Yeah. Oh, me, mom. I apologize, chat. Yeah, this is gonna be one of our more shorter streams, so. I'm an adultier adult than Shinigami, so I have a lot more responsibilities <laughs> that I have to attend to. Yeah. Not dissing Shinigami, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, I know. I'm fully aware. I'm barely turning into an adult, so it makes sense. I love I just call myself the adultier adult. I keep. I don't. Whoa! Okay, the turning speed for sprinting is way faster. I just saw oh, you. You look a in the house. I just saw you a few minutes ago. Why are you here? I found oh, there's four viewers on this stream. So Technically three, because one of them's probably me. It was a promise, remember? Oh! You know what I just noticed? Your count actually doesn't count me ghosting. Oh. You're seeing three, I'm seeing four, including myself. Oh, never mind, just dropped down to three, so somebody left. Now it's four. Because I, uh... I don't mean the ghost I have to to see chat, because I don't have administrator... I don't have moderator privileges. And you doesn't know how to get those to me for YouTube. Yeah, I need to figure out that, how to do that. Why come with me? Well, you see, there's a certain demon... Because it shouldn't count as ghosts if I'm moderating, right? Yeah, you're a mod, so... It counts. Well... We need to do that before we, like, say if we go to get monetization, we have to do that beforehand because I can't, uh, if I'm ghosting, you can get in trouble. Yeah. Pretty exciting stuff, right? The only thing is there's, like, a million demons getting in my way basically every second. So please, you just gotta let me tag along. Oh, then you'd hate the demon world of SMT3. <laughs> Random encounter. Random encounter. Random encounter. He <laughs> pretty much. Yep. It's like if you're gonna give me digital creatures, let me at least like make friends with them. Oh, it's even a garden. Awesome. No, it's not a garden. It's just a broken building. Still technically a garden. We have arrived. This is one such place where your demons can convene. As you can see, your demons are present. Here, you can approach and speak with them. Is this $40 yes. or 60 60 70 if you want to go for I'm the gonna Dude, I'm going to smack a fucking Atlas sales rep. Here's the thing. It's $10 cheaper than what we're currently getting. Remember, Persona 3 Reload was $70. And this game is... And also, this game, combined with both routes, Canon of Vengeance and Canon of Creation... Is longer than, than Persona. Uh, is longer than base Persona Five if you combine both routes. Still doesn't beat Royal's record of being the longest fucking JRPG ever created. You think I'm gonna break that record with six? I think they're gonna try to. I don't think they. I don't think they should. I think they, Persona. As much as I love Persona Five, it's way too fucking long. Yeah, that's the thing with Persona Five. It's like. With every game, they just get longer and longer. They're gonna need to tone it down at some point. By the way, 
Especially now that, like, people move on to other games a lot quicker than they did when Persona 5 was out. Yeah, like, Persona 5, if you're gonna have your ga your gamers play a game for as long as they should, you're gonna need to basically just Young man. keep them a hold for the entire time, or else you're, they're never gonna finish it, and your hard work will go to waste. I mean, the first chapter of Persona 5 got its fucking meaty hooks in me to where I didn't play anything besides it for a full year. Yeah, it ha the thing is, though, the problem is, can Persona 6 keep your ho the hooks in you for 200 plus hours? And the thing is, I already told you this with Atlas, they have a habit of re-releasing games with more content. So maybe like three years after P6 comes out, we're gonna get a version of P6 with even more content! Which will be fucking irritating. Because what ends up happening is that you're going to get a game that's super fucking long and we don't even know if their players are going to like it. Because I remember when P3 Fest came out, no one liked the answer. At all. Fortunately, we are safe here. I suggest taking as much time as you need to rest until you feel at ease. Wait, is there a mental meter in this game? No, but like, um... Here's the thing. In order to actually justify some things about the character where it's like... You know, you know how I mentioned at the beginning of the game when we saw him almost like have a breakdown when he's like sliding across down the wall? That was the only time we yeah. see his personality. Um, in here, the, in here, there's a lot of implications where you're like, you sort of got to piece it together how he feels. You can't just assume. They're not going to show it. You got to piece it together how he feels. Like with SMT3. Because um, in SMT3, if you're going to go true demon, it makes sense because of the fact he's pr the main character is probably not even thinking straight. So that's probably why he would do True Demon. Here, though, you gotta sort of pick together why he would do these things. And sort of, like, piece it together yourself. Where it's like, oh yeah, that makes sense if someone was put in that position. Yeah, it makes sense. The Persona characters are heroes, yet all the SMT characters are essentially villains. No, they can be villains if you want to make them villains. The thing is, though, it's like... With SMT, it's very weird balancing out Law and Chaos. Because the only one to do it right was two. Because they showed upsides and doubts downsides to both routes. The problem is no other SMT game did that. SMT3 did something different with reasons. With how you should you believe the world should be ran. And like what you think rather than just Law and Chaos. 4 had the best story in the series because it was character driven. And it showed the side effects of Law and Chaos to, on the people. 5 though... There's a reason I said it took inspiration from 3, because it's... I felt conflicted playing through the game story, because most of the time it didn't really make sense, but at the same time it's like, um... How do I say this? It's really hard to figure out what Law and Chaos are all about in this game. Because I think there was a side quest, because I... They don't do it with choices, they do it through side quests. Where, um... One of the side quests involves you having to essentially hunt on these two demons and one of the and the whole thing with them is like oh i want people to grow through my safety i want to help protect them so i can nurture them to grow well the other is like i just want to i just want them to be able to accomplish what they want without knowing to stop them one side wants to help others grow while one uh, the other side wants them to wants them to do what they want to do and not have anyone stop them like accomplish their dreams and shit well the other is like we'll train you to be able to do what you want to do. The problem is though, it's that um it's the methods. Cause the one that said wanted to train you, uh well look at that. They're treating you as a queen. While the other is like, look, I'm giving you total freedom, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> so what'd you rather want? A s uh, absolute freedom where you can basically do whatever you want. Or do you want to be hand-holded and not being able to reach your full potential? I have a very cat happy cat on my lap right now. Like, holy shit, yeah, it's burning like crazy. That's a thing, though. Like, There's a reason SMT doesn't have good storytelling in the traditional sense. It's not a character-driven story. Like, unlike SMT4 is the only character-driven one. Other than that, the rest of the series is mostly about environmental storytelling and through the world. There isn't really any character-driven stories in SMT unless you count four, and for Apocalypse. But then again, no one likes Apocalypse because it went generic JRPG JRPG territory. I think it's just uh, I think it's the fact that you don't spend all the instances on your character, because they actually want you to level up demons that you want to use. 
Like if you like, let's say, like let's say you like, uh, like let's say you like these demons. You want to keep them for you, keep them with you. Well, the instances can only be used with demons. Therefore, it's like, yeah, you can only use them with demons. You can keep around the demons you want longer. The yeah, I I figured that out the hard way. Yeah, and you can't, and yeah, it makes it. Not only that, they just essentially flood you with incenses. Like, they flood you with way more than usual compared to any other SMT game. So, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure the support will prove vital to surviving in the Netherworld. Or do you want to read them? You can, if you want to. Beyond that, though, I feel my own understanding of you has deepened after seeing the way you interact. I shall continue to provide support. I expect this will help us better coordinate in our future battles against the demons. Oh yeah, if you manage to get a oh oh yeah, I forgot. This is a new thing as well, where apparently, um, if you manage he to has bond, a link. yeah, <laughs> he has actually kind of right. He actually does have a social link. <laughs> it is actually a social link. Now that you say it, because it makes sense. Like, it's essentially you growing your bond with Algami, essentially to get stronger. And it's a free level up too, and you get. F oh yeah, you also get like three free skill points. Which is nice. Hey. Oh, there's that big fucker. I forgot about you. Oh yeah, the Titan demons. Those things are crazy. Well, I that's... tried finding one, and I got fucking stomped. No shit, it's level forty. Boy, that big battle was so cool. Were you there when that happened? What no, battle? it was higher level than it, and I got fucking wrecked. What battle? The one 18 years ago, duh. A super epic face-off between angels and demons. It was awesome. But I don't remember who won. Weird. I live in a joker. <laughs> Agatheon, yes. Hello, Mr. Sandman. Mr. Sandman. Now, oh, you want me to do this one? Yeah, do it. <laughs> now, me, Sonny, I've been babbling around these parts ever since humans were around. Gotta say, this shitty shore has changed. There used to be buildings of all kinds around here. Makes sense. Hey, yeah. there's this huge guy up ahead who's tough as steel. He'd probably flatten you in a second. Oh, uh, yeah, no shit. I know, I remember the first time I played this, I I dead ass thought it was those brick guys from Dragon Quest. Really? Yes, yeah, so I got yeah, I got I... I got confused. Yeah, we get ended here. Yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, we're getting the stream here. If you guys enjoyed the stream, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, and those for watching after the stream after the stream, uh, give the video a like and go ahead and and, so, and if you think it's deserving enough. Subscribe if you think I'm worthy enough for your time, and leave a comment if you want to leave any criticism, criticisms of the of the vid or anything nice you want to say to me. And uh, if you want to find any of my oh sorry oh yeah no I was about to say your stuff. And if you want oh, to if go... you want to find any of my crap, it's at Japan Lover seventy nine pretty much on everything except for TikTok, which is JPL seven nine. Yeah, we might stream more of this I... tomorrow. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see, depending if I'm tired from my trip, but I do want to stream more of this. Yeah, because it's, it's genuinely a fun game, right? It looks fun. Oh, it is. I played some of it, but this new one looks funner. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that he fixed. Anyways, uh, see you guys.